Well, we're in downtown St. Augustine. It's funny because we lived here for about six years. It's kind of the tour of where we used to live. St. St. Mary's, St. Matthew, or St. Matthew. We lived in St. Matthew, too. St. Mary's and St. Augustine. So, kind of the tour of uh, where we used to live, almost. The Castillo de San Marcos Fort. Just here in downtown St. Augustine. Right there on the intercoastal. There's a fella running. He's not part of the history. Nice. Oh, he almost fell and I missed it. Darn it. Did you see that? He about fell on his face. It's real nice. Nice port. We are in downtown St. Augustine. It's a nice little view of it. So a hurricane and Irma hit. All this is all underwater. There was people riding down the street in little kayaks and boats, yeah, jet part, skis. Part, part. Yeah, that was decent. And all these old buildings, they had to redo them all up, up here on the road because of the hurricane. It's a cool place. This used to be Colonial Quarter, but now they call it Colonial Oak Music Park. So they just do music back here, but back in the day they used to do plays and different things. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. They, they cleaned it up, didn't they? Yeah. So this is a part of um, like the time period mm -hmm. of the 1700s when it was first colonized by the British. There's different um, portions of it that represent that time period. Oh, nice. It's a cool place. Right now we're on St. George Street here in downtown and that's a pretty good ice cream yeah. spot here. But later we'll have to show you our favorite ice cream spot. The best of the best. It's got a cool story too. Cool story. We've eaten there. Oh, that's, the, that's where we just were. Yeah, Colonial so this Court. is the other side of it. Yeah, that's a restaurant, a seafood company. But all these buildings along here are from that time period. Oh, thank you for your service. All right. So in this There's little what? tavern up here, which I don't know if they've reopened yet, but they used to have really good sangria. Oh yeah, the sangria was good. If y'all like sangria. And it was good all spot. candlelit because it was during that, from the early 1700 time period. This place, right? Yeah. Oh, looks like it's open again. Not candlelit tonight, though. No candlelight. There's the Spanish bakery. That's good. Cool place. Let me get you a hat in there. Looks like we're going in the jewelry store. Kelsey's got her eye on one of these. Hopefully not one of those. I'm already broke from the gas, you know. Gas one. Which one you got your eye? I don't know if I can film in here. Beautiful jewelry. Yes. Just every day, like silver dangly. Because my, I lost my favorite pair. Look at these places. Look right there. Nice. Yeah. I wish it was a little oh, more yeah. silver though. There you go, right there. Look at that. Flamingo. You want one of them? That'd be fun to wear. Let's see. Well, we left the jewelry store. Of course, she got some earrings. <laughs> so now we're. We replaced a pair of hops. So. She, yeah, she did. I guess it's like my ball caps. <laughs> she says I can't uh, get a new ball cap unless I throw one away so well, we're heading in the rain right now so we'll see how good this video turns out a little wet it's nice though it feels good it's about 68 well that's a good place there I don't know how to say that but it's a good good little restaurant do right, you want to see the best pizza place Right there. It's either Pizzalis or Pizza Alley. I ain't figured that out yet. Either way, it's the best Pizzalis. A lot of history. There's so much history I can't even go over. Y'all have to look up the 
plaza down here. There's Here's a sign right here. Up yeah, up to the 60s are still. Here, show me back out there. All this public space in America. Right, that's crazy. This tells you about the original use. Yeah, we can pause that. Pause that and read it. Sorry, I'm not going to read all that. <laughs> I hate reading. Golly. But they used to, this used to be a, where the slaves would come out, right? Yes, yeah, so over there on the far end, that open space, yeah. past the cannon, that's where they had the original slave market. And once that would, went away, then they did different market goods here. And then this was kind of a gathering place. Yeah. And then in the um, 1960s, Martin Luther King actually came through here. And then now it's just a park. And they do music here yeah, there's a lot of events. Christmas lights. This is oh, probably Christmas one of the best places at Christmas to come is St. Augustine, Florida. People yeah. don't think Christmas in Florida. Shoot, that's some great more places. Than Disney in this square at Christmas. Yes. This is right here is the Constitution Monument. 1813. Cool. So we were here during the year that they had the 450th anniversary and the King of Spain visited and we were actually close to the square and we saw a secret service and then all of a sudden the King was just surrounded and they came through actually right down that street over there. Yeah, they walked right in front of us. The King mm -hmm. did, we didn't even know. So turn a little bit more. So straight ahead, that's the original government building and that balcony there is one of the spots where um, the original governors would give speeches so they would gather here in the Clear. So that's why the King of Spain was in that building. It's the original government. Yeah. Sorry, I, I don't want to talk over you, so. I'll no, it's you, okay. I'll let you do your talking. I now. just watching Augustine and oh. I'm just like, I get very excited. Yeah, it's a great place to live or even visit. Let's look at this thing glass there. The old Catholic church. It's the original from here, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, one of the original. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, Flagler College over there, somewhere, right? Behind us, I knew it was somewhere back there. But Flagler did help develop uh, these buildings. Yeah, Henry Flagler. Look, you thought I wouldn't remember the name. <laughs> Old Henry Flagler. Yeah, he he designed most of the downtown, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. He had a um, retreat here. Yeah. And then he brought in the railroad. Let's walk toward the water and you can see the bridge of lines. All right, let's head towards the bridge of lines. It's a bridge of lines right here. Old bridge. I don't know all the history on that. I, I the lines are supposed to protect the city. Yeah, I remember that. Protect the city, but it opens up. It lifts up. Yeah, it's a drawbridge. So... So we might see a boat tour. We're gonna go check out the intercoastal here. It's another view you can't beat. No, nope, can't beat it. A lot of boats out here. And believe it or not, we get a lot of drunks that jump in this and they get all tore up by the Conk shells, right? Yeah. So they regret that decision. Down here on the boats. See. Well, if you're really into pirates on the other side of the bridge, there's a pirate ship that you can take a tour on. It's pretty cool. Kelsey's dad, he's a live right on this intercoastal here and uh there's a swimming pool right next to it so the sometimes the swimming <laughs> the tide would be right up next to the pool It'd be you like the same level you sit in the water and watch the boats all day yeah a1l works always good food and especially great views you can sit upstairs on the outside rock yes we love it when the storms are rolling in but uh, Mm -hmm. We can sit out there and watch the clouds, the storms rolling in. Yeah. Pretty cool. I see your eyes just now, they move. They're not moving. <laughs> <laughs> Two 
two sparrows. That's a cool Christian store. They have a prayer wall on there. Like a booth you go in, submit a prayer request, people pray over it. It's pretty cool. Neat place. There's the other side of the square, right? Yep. Yeah. Casa Monica Hotel for the VIPers pull in. It's a pretty cool hotel here. They'll probably kick me out in the art museum if they see me filming. So I'll turn it off. I'll jump back on. Guess Monica Hotel. All oh, of the architecture. Cool. Years ago, they used to have these awesome chairs. They were like real comfortable chairs. And we used to come in here and sit. I used to pretend I was in a wedding in there. So I get free wedding cake. That's where all the events are in here. Monica that we were just in that was for like the real highfalutin people and they would come down and they would come over to the Lightning Museum because they have even better parties over here. Yeah. In the middle um, there's a ballroom that has a swimming pool in the middle. Yep that's a cool oh yeah that's where we went it's like the they also had the Dalton Dalton Abbey dresses in there right? Yeah I don't know if they're still there they were on a uh, rotation. Huh, it's a little dark I don't know We'll have to come back later and show them. I thought this light back. was. Yeah, it's working. Okay. Well. Yeah, this is a very cool place, though. Yeah. And now it's full of different uh, collections from over the years, different time periods. But you can still see a lot of the original hotel. So this yep. tells you about the original hotel. Original right hotel here. right here. Is that Henry Leitner or Ponce de Leon? You mean Henry Flagler? Henry Flagler. Yes, yeah, that's Henry. I call him Lightner. <laughs> All right. And then across from us, you can turn it off. Past the beautiful fountain, that's Flagler College. And that is beautiful architecture. We'll oh, have yeah. to come back in the daytime. Yeah, it's all locked down now. Um, when it starts getting dark, people like to try to get people in there trying to sleep and stuff. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to come back and make another video. Yeah. But at least you get a taste of what we love here. And also, we talked about the drunk folks at night sometimes jumping off the, into the intercoastal. They like to jump in this fountain, too. Yeah, security's usually really good at running them off pretty fast. Though. Yeah, we've seen a lot of people go to jail over that fountain there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are heading to supper now. Mojo's Barbecue, hopefully. Hopefully they're, hopefully they'll let us in, right? Yeah. It's a good place, our favorite place. So we just little clips of this little trip here. We we came down for a few days, and uh, I wish we could make a longer video, but just a little bit of clips of the sightseeing and of our favorite places. Favorite places. We had a lot of seeing some some family and uh, other things going on that brought us here. So we're here pretty often. So we definitely want to make more videos. We can't give all the secrets away, right? Kelsey's dad and I were walking down, walking down this road just like this. And it looked like there was a man sitting right there. We both looked at each other because it, I said, did you see that? Was somebody there? And he said, yeah, I saw the same thing. And nothing was there. But we walk a little further and there's a cemetery right here. You can make your own conclusion. I'm not saying it was a ghost. I'm not saying it wasn't either. Right, Mojo's Barbecue. Our favorite place to eat in St. Augustine. Well, one of them. 
Definitely our favorite barbecue ever. Best smoked meat. Oh, everything's so perfect. Smack her, smack her three times. Problem is, it's hard to get a seat, but it doesn't look like there's many people here tonight. Thank God for the rain. Three mojos. Not sure what we want, but we got a couple of these. Can't go wrong, so. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I went with the rib, mac and cheese and fries. Kelsey went with the hot lake, uh, pulled pork, beans, mac and cheese. Excited to jump into this. Well, supper was good. We're full, good ribs. And uh, yeah, now we're heading, trying to burn it off really burn some calories you know maybe get some make room for some ice cream our favorite ice cream plate one of them we got many unfortunately but one of our favorites our favorite one here in town at least down the road so we're just out walking the streets waiting to get some ice cream i'm trying to stay away from the music when i record so i don't get some type of strike they got me on that christmas video I tell you that they yeah. copy uh, copyrighted me. So yeah. Well, this right here is the love tree. I guess it's a historic old tree. A lot of people get engaged and have weddings and. It's about their love. It's about their love right there. I didn't about my love there though. Mm -hmm. I was in a park. She tackled me. We ate spaghetti. It was a whole adventure. It's a big tree. Now it's a restaurant. Is it the Love Tree restaurant? No, um, wine tasting and chocolates. Oh. Perfect to go with love. It does, right? Wine tasting and chocolate restaurant. Where the Love Tree's at. The inside of the wax museum is very haunted, supposedly. And it's uh, people in there doing a ghost tour. So they probably don't appreciate me shining this light, but yeah, it's the wax museum. It's originally was the old farm. Yeah, that was an old pharmacy from like just way back. Mary, this this is uh, the city's like what 400 and well, we were here for the 450th, so yeah, that was a few years about four years ago. That's a cool Irish pub, great food and drinks. Uh oh, more jewelry. I don't think I'm supposed to be back here, to be honest. Yes. Yes. So you think you can't live without in here? No, but I did find a Disney section. Oh yeah? Disney? Snow White, Frozen. Uh, what's Aladdin. that little monkey from Aladdin? Aladdin. Aladdin. What's his name? A boo. A boo. And then there's Star Wars. Star Wars. And there's some Oh, Tom and Jerry down there. Oh, Pluto's on the bottom. Tom and Jerry, see that? Yeah. Bug Bunny. Buzz. Buzz. Hey, you got that many mouse. Another good Mexican restaurant, Casa Maya. I think it's a Mexican restaurant. They have a tequila bar. It's pretty cool. As you can tell, we like Mexican food. Oh, and then the Smokers Depot. It's usually pretty smoky around here. It's a nice little uh, place to have a cigar or some wine. Best ice cream place, St. Augustine. Mayday ice cream, and we got its name. Yeah, tell them how the, how the name came about. Because during World War II, the, the pilot, during World War II, the um, pilots used to take buckets of sugar and cream up in the sky, and they fly around until it turned into ice cream. It's a cool inside, cool decor. Cool place. So I went with the parent trap. That's good. Nice and peanut buttery. Peanut butter and Oreo cookies. Glad I walked a lot. Got a lot of walking to do tomorrow. And burn it off. More walking to do after this. Yeah, right. It does get splurged. We haven't had ice cream in a long time. 
I've been saving it for about a month. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. All right, y'all. We're headed to the car and then headed to the house. So we uh, thank you guys for watching. Wish it was more entertaining. Hopefully it was a little entertaining. And you got to see some things you ain't seen before. And I highly advise, almost tripped. I highly advise y'all to check out St. Augustine, oldest city. A, they say it's the oldest city in the United States. Uh, I think Panama's up there. Savannah's like number two or three. But it's cool, a lot of history. We just gotta, didn't get to show you everything. There's so much to do here. That'd take us a week to really check out all the historic stuff and museums and restaurants and but sceneries. Get to see our favorite. Yeah, get to see our favorite. And that beautiful water, beautiful view right there. So uh, that'll do it. Sorry for rambling. And uh, thank you for watching. Till the next one, I'm Josh. That's Kelsey. And uh, hopefully we'll be back more on a regular schedule. So thanks for watching. Subscribe.